Hi everyone, happy new year, happy new year 2021. Today is January 1st. We are all excited we have made it through 2020. Here we are in 2021, stronger, healthier, happier, I hope. And we are back for our show, Absolute Alignment with Crystal When Success Feels Easy. And this year again, we are going to meet every first and third Friday of the month, 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time with amazing guests to share with you all the tools, all the resources that have worked for ourselves, for our guests, share them with you to make sure that this year is your year, to make sure that this year you crush it. You crush your resolutions, you crush your goals, and you achieve the success you want for your relationship, for your life, for your business in the easiest and fastest way possible. That's the ultimate goal of this show. Make it easy on yourself by using spiritual tools, you know, relying on the divine, on the spiritual, on the universe, whatever you want to call it, whatever word works for you. So today is January 1st, 2021. For most people, it's the day to write New Year's resolutions. And for those that don't believe in resolutions, maybe they just set intentions for the year. You just set goals, whatever it is that works for you. I hope love is one of those intentions or those goals this year because love is really important. And in 2020, I believe we had opportunity to realize how much we need love, how much we love is important to us. Maybe because we didn't get a chance to get together with our loved ones. Then we realized how much we needed that connection, how much we wanted to feel loved and how much we wanted to love on other people. Maybe by giving them a gift in person and hugging them, we missed that probably. So more, now more than ever, we realize how important to love on each other. But most of all, before we think about loving other people this year, maybe one of our intention this year is love more, show more love, maybe show up more for people, support more people, give more to people, be present for people. Before we, be, we are able to really realize that goal, we you know, make that happen be that loving person, maybe we decide to be more this year, it has to start by ourselves. We need to pull the oxygen mask, put it first on our face before trying to save our neighbor and people around us. It has to start with us. How, what are the intentions you have this year to show more love to yourself, to love yourself more, to take more care of yourself, to pay more attention on the, uh, uh, to the things that matter to you, to the things that are dear to your heart. What did you decide to do this year for yourself? What are the resolutions you have made to show more love to yourself, to take more care of yourself, to improve yourself, to grow more, to learn more, to experience more? Maybe you have the intention to travel more, the intention to talk more with people, you know, when we'll get a chance again to be able to come back together, hug each other. You want to maybe have the intention to do the things that really, really make you happy. Because yes, it starts with you. It might sound selfish like that, but you can't really love people if you don't love yourself. That's the truth about it. The love you have for yourself is the same level of love you're able to give to people. You cannot give what you don't have. So today is January 1st, it's the first day of 365 more days that we'll all hopefully get to spend together. But for sure, if how many, it doesn't matter how many days we will have to live this year, we'll spend all those days with ourselves. We might not have maybe the opportunity to spend it with our loved ones, with our friends, with our families, with our colleagues, whatever it is, but we will always always be with ourselves. We always spend time with ourselves. We will always wake up with ourselves, always go to bed with ourselves. So how are we setting the intention to spend that time with ourselves this year? How much fun are we intending to have with ourselves? How much loving words are we 
planning to say to ourselves during all this year? How much fun things are we planning to do with ourselves this year? So I just want us to take a moment and think about it. Because this year, we might lose people. We might lose friendships. We might lose partners. We might lose relationships. We might lose a lot of things. But we will always have, we will always have us. We will always be there together with ourselves. So how are we planning to spend that time? How much love are we going to make the intention that that relationship with ourselves are going to feel good, are going to be good, are going to be filled with love? I hope this is part of your intention this year. Bring more love into your life. Bring more love into your reality. Show more love to yourself. And it doesn't matter what it looks like. Maybe it can just be walk more on the beach. Maybe it can be just dance more, whatever it looks like. I remember a few months ago, you know, with all this that is happening and you go out with a mask and you don't really see people's faces. It's kind of weird. And I just walking on the street one day, decided to touch a tree. And I felt something really incredible. I felt good and I was smiling by myself. Luckily I had a mask, people would be like, She's crazy, why is she smiling, right? But it just felt good. You know, those little things that we miss. How many people, you know, live in neighborhoods where they don't even have a tree? They don't see a tree because it's buildings everywhere. If you have a tree, when it was the last time you touch a tree, you felt that sensation on your hand. It sounds silly like that, but those little things, those moments that we do things just by ourselves and that make us feel good. Do we have the intention to have those little moments, those beautiful gifts of life this year with ourselves? It doesn't have to be something incredible or crazy, but those, just something small that can make us smile, just can make us feel good without being, being, able, being able to explain it to someone else. It doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense to other people as long as it makes us feel good. So let's have that intention to have a good time with ourselves this year. Have a good time. When we wake up in the morning, let's think about it. The same way maybe when you have a partner, you will plan to make, you know, something, the, his favorite dish, you know, maybe buy flowers, do something to make them smile or feel good. Let's plan those things for ourselves. Because at the end of the day, we are our first partner. We are our first friend. We are our first family. So let's show more love this year. Because the more we do that with ourselves, we'll be able to give more love because more, now more than ever, we need more love in the world. We need love. We have always needed love, but now more than ever, I think we are ready to remember that, how important love is. We are ready to remember that there is nothing outside of love. But what does it look like? Love is not a feeling. Love is really a decision that you make. You decide to love somebody for life. Even when it's not lovable anymore, you make a decision to keep going. So that's a decision you can make with yourself. I will love myself even when I make mistakes. I will love myself even when I do crazy things. I will love myself even when I, don't, I do things that make zero sense. I will still love myself. That's a decision. It's not a feeling that when it feels good, I'm going to love. No, it's a decision you make that no matter what, I'm going to be there. I'm going to love myself. So if you have a chance by the end of today, I just want you to do this little thing. Maybe stand in front of your mirror. If you wrote your resolution, fine. If not, that's fine. You know, but just have this intention and go in front of your mirror by the, maybe before going to bed or any time during today, and just look at yourself in the mirror and say, this year, I'm going to love you. I'm going to love on you so much that we are going to have a great time. Every day, I will, I'm making this decision to love you. And look at yourself in the eyes and feel that. Think, really be intentional about that, making that love declaration to yourself. And make it your intention this year. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love on you so much that 
at the end of this year, we're going to be in a different place together because we are in this lifetime together and forever. So that's what I wanted to share with you on the first part of this show. Again, Happy New Year. We are going to take a break. And on the second part of the show, I will have an amazing guest that will speak a little bit more about love, bringing more love in 2021. But she's going to do that in a special way, in a very beautiful, special way. I know her. So you are in for a treat. Stay tuned. We're going to be back on the second part of the show. So see you. Welcome back to the second part of Absolute Alignment with Crystal, when success feels easy. I'm really excited to be here with you today. First day of the year, I'm happy to spend this first day of the year with you on this episode. And again, this year, we are going to be together every first and third Friday of the month, 1.30 p.m. Pacific time, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time, to share with you all the tools you need to make this year a successful year, but in the easiest and fastest way possible. So on the first part of the show, you know, I've said, I helped us or reminded us that one of our intentions or resolutions or goals for this year should probably be to open more, you know, to love, love ourselves more, bring more love into 2021, which is the topic of our show today. And also I have a guest with me that's going to be on the second part of the show. We'll talk more on why is it important to open more to love, bring back, bring more love in our life in order for us to receive all the things that we want to receive this year. You know, new year, new resolutions, new goals, new dreams, new hopes. But how do we receive all those things? How do we make sure that at the end of this year, we will be able to look back and be happy and smile and say, hey, we have allowed all those things to come into our lives. So that's why what Jen's, Jen's story is going to do on the second part of this show. She's going to help us be prepared to receive all the goods that are available for us this year. Hi, Jen. Hi, Christelle. Thank you so much for having me. And Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year, Jen. I'm so happy to have you. I'm so excited to have you here. So tell me, how did you start the New Year? Yes. Well, first of all, for those who don't know me, I am known as the Irresistible Love Coach, and I help women really find and magnetize their love of their life and find their soulmates and really allow love in on a new level to become the true sexy goddess that they are and magnetize the life of their far beyond their wildest dreams. So, yes. So, um, Today, I wanted to talk to you all about, we're starting at the first of the year, it's the new year. And a lot of times as women, we like to do, you know, we have this to-do list and we have the way that things are going to do. So we know the action we need to take, which is also a very masculine way of doing things. And when we want to invite more love into our life, we want to invite the more sensuality into our life. The way to do that is to really learn how to receive like the sexy goddess that we truly are and to receive when we are receiving to receive means that we are truly opening up our heart and we are trusting when we are in that controlling that manipulative that self-seeking way of life we are trying to get we are trying to really make something create something the way we think is the right way well actually the universe has a far better plan for us we could ever imagine and so the way that we truly need to receive like that sexy goddess is to trust sit back lean back and receive like we have never received before meaning practice receiving when somebody wants to open the door for you however it is COVID so you know we may not want to get that close to people however if a loved one maybe wants to send you a gift in the mail instead of saying no I don't need that Practice receiving and don't feel like you have to give back. Receive those gifts and say, thank you, relish, celebrate, and know that that abundance is flowing to you, that love is flowing to you, that support is flowing to you. When somebody asks, can I make you dinner? You say, oh, thank you. I would love that dinner instead of thinking, oh my gosh, I'm not doing enough. I need to do, I need to create, I need to be. 
when actually in our divine receiving of love, it is sitting back and it is receiving. We need to stop doing and start receiving, which I know goes against a lot of New Year's resolutions because a lot of the resolutions are aligned with you have to do, do, do. And I'm saying, yes, you have to do, there are a lot of things we have to do, but how are you doing it? Are you doing it with pleasure, with love, with ease? Or are you doing it because you feel that you should do it? If you're doing it because you feel like you should do it, that is doing it in a self-seeking, manipulative way of trying to get something. When we're doing it because we love it, because we have that pleasure, because we feel divinely called and in alignment to do it, that is when we should do it. Because it's fun, it's flowing, it's ease. We are doing it because we should do it. That is not the correct reason. We shouldn't just do it. There are things that we need to do in our life that we may not want to do, right? There's some people out there that are moms that on some days you don't want to be a mom and you got to be a mom. But for the most part, there are a lot of things in life that we can sit back and we can receive instead of putting our walls up and keeping ourselves safe because we need to reflect back on 2020 and look at how did I keep myself safe? How did I not trust? How did I not let people in? How did I not connect? And now I want you to stop and think, how can I connect more this year? What can I do differently this year? And what do I need to leave in 2020? Because when we leave what no longer serves us in 2020, we can then open up this abundance of pleasure, of flow, of ease. And when I say open up pleasure, the biggest thing that I can tell you is that when you add more pleasure, not fun, I mean pleasure, when you add more pleasure into your life, in all areas of your life, it, may, it takes that pressure off of sex. And when we take the pressure off of sex being the only thing you receive pleasure in, your life gets really, really good and juicy and, and just amazing. So think about it this way, when you're eating a strawberry, if you're eating a strawberry and you're just eating it and mowing it down and just consuming a ton versus eating one strawberry, really letting it soak in and just savoring the taste and closing your eyes and experiencing it, that's going to be a pleasurable experience versus just pounding your face and running to do the next thing and thinking of your to-do list in your head. And so when we can add more pleasure, we, when we can sit on the couch with our kids and feel that beautiful, you know, blanket against our body and just feel it and have a pleasurable experience connecting with our loved ones and connecting with ourselves. That's pleasure. The only source of pleasure is not an orgasm. That is but the cherry on top. That is not the only thing. We can add pleasure in so many other areas. But we add that pleasure in by receiving. And we receive the taste of that strawberry. We receive that soft, plush, like blanket against our skin. We receive a phone call when somebody calls us and we receive it with such appreciation. And we pick up the phone, answer it, and we connect with somebody. We can have such deep connections with people over the phone, over Zoom, over Facebook, and connect more deeply with them than we do connect with somebody who lives in our own house with us. Connection doesn't have to be in person. A deep connection where we are connected with somebody means that we're taking our walls down, we're opening our heart, and we're being our true, amazing, authentic selves. And so really look, where are you not being authentic? Where are you scared to be yourself? Where do you need to add more pleasure and how can you receive more? Because when we learn how to receive more, the love just flows in like crazy and the pleasure is just overflowing and our life becomes really juicy and fun. And so this year, I just really encourage you and I invite you to add that spice of life into your life and add that pleasure and that flow and that ease so that those New Year's resolutions, if you have them or intentions, are not a to-do list item anymore. They're more of a fun, pleasurable, exciting activity that you want to do, not that you think you should do. Because if you think you should be a size four versus if you, you're you just like, oh, this will be fun. Let's just have fun and go on the bike every day. Let's do some yoga. It's different than feeling like if I'm this size, 
I'll get this attention. Instead, give the attention to yourself, give the love to yourself and just watch things flow and know that the weight loss is but a byproduct to the love-filled relationship. Just like meeting the soulmate of your dreams, it all comes back to us being connected and feeling love and juicy in our life. So let me just um, ask a question. We are talking about New Year's resolutions, goals, women, right? Women in business, entrepreneurs, and you are a business owner yourself, you are a coach. So how do you set that? How do you make that work? You know, because when you have those big goals for your, for your business, okay, this year I'm going to maybe hit this, you know, the first quarter of the year, hit no, this number by the end of 2021. So you have that as a business owner in the back of your mind. So how do you bring pleasure in, in that doing space, which is entrepreneurship, where you have to go get it as according to the general belief that you have to, you know, push as hard as you can. You have to make it happen. You have to do what it takes. You know, in Julie, those words just make you feel like you have to get ready to fight. So how do you can, you know, support us, help us bring pleasure in that space of entrepreneurship where you have to go get it, but how can we make that, make that in a way where it's pleasurable and we can actually lean back and let those things come to us without feeling like, oh, but maybe I should do more. But maybe I should, you know, work harder, whatever it is. Yeah, I love that question. And I love that really what it comes down to is it's already happened. So when we know that our goal is already there, it's just waiting for us to receive it. It gets that much more exciting. And when we're excited over a goal, instead of trying to force a goal and trying to make it happen, when we learn that we are, we have the divine goodness inside of us and that we have the universe. I mean, the power of the universe that we have inside of us, Christelle, is the same power that parted the Red Sea. So like that is the power we have. So once we know that, and we know that we're supported too by this insane amount of power, life gets really fun because those goals we have, we're not alone anymore. So when we're not alone anymore, we can invite that support in and say, okay, so I want this goal to happen. Universe, show me what you got. And when we ask the universe to show us what we got, they hand us the support we need to make that fun and flow. They hand us the opportunity to expand. As you know, that one opportunity can open up doors. Showing up for our lives can open up doors that we never thought were possible. But it's when we're in the flow and the ease that we can receive those opportunities. Mm -hmm. And so it's really looking at it, anchoring into the fact that we are divinely supported by the most largest power of the universe. And then stepping back and thinking, okay, show me what you got. This is going to be a really fun year. How are we going to do this? and open up that flow, that ease, and let's do this. And when we do that, we invite it in. And I did that recently with um, homeschooling my son. And I was like, I don't wanna do this. I'm not good at this. This is not who I am. Show me what you got universe. And the universe within 24 hours sent me a beautiful woman, my mother, who was actually a teacher, who was like, I'm gonna buy this homeschool program and I would like to offer to teach your son this and to teach him full well, basically full-time, three days a week. Um, is that okay? Can I do that for you? And I was like, you have got to be getting me. Just 24 hours prior, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know what the support's going to look like. It's COVID, you know, we're, we're isolated, right? And, um, and it was somebody who I'm seeing already. So it's beautiful because when we tell the universe, okay, and we have certainty and we say, okay, I'm ready to receive show me what you got. Let's do this. Let's have fun. And we know that our prayer has already been answered and we say, thank you. And then the doors open. It really comes down to trust. Mm -hmm. You know, when you set those goals or those intentions or, you know, those resolutions, don't 
get into the how am I going to get there? And you know, that's the way our brain is trained to function. Like when you have a goal, when you have a resolution, when you have an intention, have a plan to make sure it's actually going to happen. But it, when in reality, again, you said exact same thing, it comes down to trust. Even if you don't know how you're going to make it happen, even if you don't have a plan now, maybe I want to fly private. I have no plan to get in a you know, private jet. But because I trust that if I want it, the universe or God, or whatever you believe in, is there to create the house, to, you know, create the connections, make me meet the right people. But it's really me trusting, not getting into the conversation of, but I don't know how to get, I don't know how to do it. Maybe I should do more of this or try more, try. But you really leaning back as you beautifully described and celebrating already, knowing that, hey, it's happening, it's done. I just have to be ready to receive it because I know it's happening. I trust the universe or God or whatever, what feels good to you. And because I trust, I'm open to receive. And you, from that place, you're more likely to hear what somebody's offering you because sometimes somebody wants to help, but we don't even hear that because we are so stuck in our head trying to figure out ways ourselves that when the support shows up, we can actually even miss it. Exactly, exactly. And the way that we learn how to trust is we learn how to trust ourselves. When we can trust ourselves, we then learn how to open our mind up to trusting other people. And when we anchor in to every day different ways that we can trust people, we can learn to trust our intuition and our guidance system and our compass, our interior compass. And it's a beautiful gift. And 2021 is going to be amazing. I'm so excited for all of you who are watching and for all of you out there. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jen. So quickly, before we close the show, where can people get in contact with you before we leave? Yes, um, you can easily find me on Facebook under Jen Stoney. And I have a free Facebook group called Irresistible You. I become irresistible in business, life, and love. And there is a lot of free content on there where you can just hop on in and get tons of juicy stuff for 2021 that will change your life forever. And I'm super excited to connect with all of you. Thank you so much. It was a great pleasure to have you here, Jen. Thank you to all our viewers and listeners. Again, Happy New Year 2021. We are so excited for all the wonders, the miracles, the beauties that are available and ready for you to just receive and let it in with love. So thank you again. See you uh, every th first and third Friday of the month, 1.30 p.m. Pacific time, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time for an episode of Absolute Alignment with Christelle when success feels easy. Thank you so much for watching.